Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752 with this your daily go get number 197 for April, April 17, 2015. Today I want to talk about being hard headed and overconfident. Hard headed and overconfident. You know, that really don't sound like a good combination to me. I mean, when you really think about somebody that's hard headed, it always takes me back to when we was younger and how the old heads would always tell us, normally the, the old head was our parents. They would always tell us, you know, a hard head make a soft ass. And it's true, a hard head did make a soft ass. I don't know how uh, an ass whooping equated to a soft ass, but whatever. Actually, you know, it could make it kind of hard, definitely heated. But anyway, you know, when they was telling, the, telling us that kind of stuff, it was because we was going against the wisdom that they was trying to teach us. We was going against the instructions that they was trying to give us. So the consequences for that was that you know, we would be punished in some way. Even if we wasn't punished by, you know, getting a whooping or whatever, we were still punished by whatever happened, not getting what we wanted. Things not turning out the way that we expected them to. So we had to take heed to that. Now, the thing is, as we start getting older, we start growing and everything. Kids think they know it all. And if nobody, nobody puts a stop to that when they're younger, as they get older, they'll carry that same kind of attitude. So if you had a history of not listening to, to nothing nobody say because you don't respect them or because you think you know it all already, then that's going to carry over into when you get older. And that's not to say that you don't have the skills, ability, and, and the talent level to achieve the things that you, that you want to achieve. But nobody does it all by themselves. You know, a lot of times we hear people talking about their self-made man. You know, ain't nobody no self-made man. There's no such thing as a self-made millionaire. Ain't no self-made nothing. Everybody needs help. Everybody needs assistance. Even if you come up with a, with a product that you're able to sell and make millions or even billions off of it, somebody has to buy it. So you're not doing it all by yourself. And somebody has to put you in front of somebody who can market your product. Nobody is a self-made nothing. You know, you start from somewhere and you end up somewhere. But the most important thing is to remember the people that helped you along with while you was on your journey. So you can't be hard-headed and then say you, you're, you're listening at the same time. You might find that if you open up your mind a little bit, that you can get from A to Z in a lot faster, well, a much faster way than you would if you just tried to you know, find out everything for yourself. And a lot of times, the reason that we're hard-headed is because we want to make sure that we get all the credit for whatever success that we get. And that's really a selfish way of looking at things, because what's wrong with spreading the ball around a little bit? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that at all. You know? It's nice out here today. You know what I'm saying? It's nice. That's what I'm talking about. We've been waiting for this spring for months, it seemed like. Now it's here. So, you know, it's important to listen to those who paved the way for you. If you know that somebody has done something that you want to do in your life and they've already done it, let them drop them jewels on you. And even even if they haven't done exactly what you wanted to do, that doesn't mean they can't offer some advice. You know what I mean? Don't let that, that hard head equal that soft ass. Don't get whooped by life just because you ain't want to listen to somebody because you didn't, you know, you, you show little respect. You know, so, and, and the overconfident piece of that, nah, you know, confident, Confidence is good. It's necessary. You know, it's necessary for, for you to be able to get your foot in the door in, in order for you to showcase your skills. That's a good thing. But overconfident, that's when you have to be the one to always hype yourself up to other people. Don't nobody want to hear that. I can guarantee you, don't nobody want to hear nobody bragging about themselves, talking about what they could do, how they never lose, and all that kind of stuff. I don't care whether you're a boxer, football player, or uh, um, you know, a very rich uh, um, businessman, singer, entertainer, whatever. Nobody likes over nothing. Being overconfident is like being a drug addict. See, it wouldn't be that bad if you get high every now and then, if you party just a little bit every now and then. But once, you, once it starts to become you, then that's when all the problems come in. And that's the same way that overconfidence works. So if you're confident to the point where you show and prove, then people gotta respect that. People have to respect that and they will respect that. But if you always running around here like, yo, I'm the man, I'm trying to tell you I'm about to do this, and you know what I mean, I had it like this, yo, ain't nobody gonna beat me because blah, 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 blah. Muhammad Ali was like that, but he was like that to a point where it brought people to him, not away from him. 
because he did show and prove. And really, he was only acting that way because he was afraid of a lot of the times. You know, once you once you understand how the human brain works and all of that, people's psyche, you know, you start picking it up. He was afraid, so he would hype himself up because he knew he could do he could do whatever. But he know he knew that there was always a chance he could lose. So you know, he took the other route instead of acting playing scared. I'm gonna play confident. You don't have to be that way, you, and you might not be able to follow that example. So it is what it is. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. Don't be overconfident. Don't be a hard head. Do the things, say the things, be the kind of way that draws people to you instead of taking people away from you because you're going to need some help somewhere along in your life. You know what I mean? Everybody gets their turn to shine, gets their chance to shine, and mostly everybody falls off for a little bit, for a little while. You'll have to fall off all the way. But you, can prevent falling off at all if you make sure that you get the team involved and make sure that they want to stay involved. And that's that. So that's your Daily go get ism for today. Always remember the Daily go get ism show each and every day, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call that number, 347-677-1533. It will be hot like that. And always remember the Urban Therapy with Sun Show on Wednesday nights, 8.30 p.m. till around 10-ish. You know what I mean? Get with that. UrbanTherapyWithSun.com. Go to the website. Register with the website. Website and get down with the movement. YouTube.com forward slash sun 752. Get with us. Because the movement is moving. It's going to move anyway. 